So now I'm going to go to far the portage where the world file is. If you remember in the world file there was those few extra files that are kept and in the world.backup there was all all the file there were all the files. So really what I'm going to do first of all is just take a copy of the original world file that I modified uh, like that and then I'm just going to copy the world dot back up to world so I've still got a copy of the original in case I need to make any changes. And now if I do an update, this will obviously pull in a whole lot of um, changes, um, of course, and there's some packages that need to be removed. So the Oracle JDK bin I need to remove from that file because we removed that. Oracle JDK bin. I'm not sure if there's docs as well or not, if they got pulled in automatically. And they got pulled in automatically. So I'll save that. If I re emerge, it shouldn't complain about Oracle. Alright, so now it's complaining about portage. So I'll get that. And it says there's problems detected with your world file. Eat main minus check world. That'll actually probably pull out this if I ran that. I don't think it actually makes any changes so if I do that um, you can see it says that certain things aren't installed. Um, what does it say for port? Oh, it actually says port is not installed. So there's not really much help at the moment other than the fact that the world doesn't represent the state of the um, installation. But what I will do is get rid of portal because that shouldn't be there as we know. Let's try oh, try an update. And now we've got just got this blender one. Um oh yeah with this open video but I remember seeing this on other machines. It's just something I've got to disable for Blender. So edit portage package dot use media GFX Blender. Media GFX Blender. Yeah, you can see I've got it. So I'll just remove that. Okay, looks like there's some extra changes to do here, quite a few by the looks of it. So because this has got quite complicated, what I'm going to do is bring in certain packages gradually. Um, just allow this to be easier to install, which is what this is obviously all about. So I'm going to modify the world file and what I'm going to do is to comment out some of the larger packages and just let the smaller ones in. So I'll leave out LibreOffice. Oops. Let's, uh, um, I'll leave out. Should I leave them in? Um, no, I might leave that to install. 
get rid of some of the top level applications, I think. Uh, let's get rid of the browsers. Um, I'll leave the basic X11 stuff in there. I think that might be a good one to start. Uh, let's leave the KDE stuff out for the moment. So it's really just utilities that I'm leaving in. I'm leaving out all the X based stuff, so, and that includes the applications. Yeah, let's see what that produces when we do the update. Now what I want to do here is to check for, also check for any packages that are in the world file that might uh, already, already exist that are going to be added to the world file effectively. So for example, CUPS was one, it was pulled in by a dependency, but I've also got it in the world file, so really I don't need it in the world file. That's probably the better way of having it. Um, as I said previously, unless you are worried that it might disappear and you know you certainly need it, it's probably worth not having it in there. But otherwise, if you're worried about it maybe being removed due to an update in the future, then by all means keep it in there. It does, does tend to be better not to have things in the world if you can help it. So these are all brand new packages yes there's nothing in there that's coming in that's actually in the world file um, that's, uh, that's going to be updated I mean sorry so I think that should be okay to go so I'll let these 172 come in and it could take some time because there's a few fairly big packages there. Um, and yeah, just come back when it's uh, finished again.
Right, so it looks like that's finished. Um, just going to check to see what any messages have come up that are important. Shouldn't really need to do anything here. Um, I guess I can run these commands as simple enough. Um, although, I wouldn't have thought something like that would make much difference. check this optional dependency. Um, some of these may already be installed but um, if I add them to my list of things to follow up then I'll know and also can decide whether I want to install them if they're not already installed. Um, 